Okay then, brilliant. Right, what we need to do now is um, get this guy going up and down. Now, if you just tried to do this using the skeleton, he'd have all all kinds of problems. So, I mean, let's let's try moving him up using this IK effector. We can't because his feet are stuck to the floor. Okay, let's try moving his foot. Okay, his head gets stuck. That's no good to us. Um, what about this joint here further down? Oh, now his foot's come off. That's not what we want either. So, you can see that we're going to have to use a bit of a different strategy to get that all to move up. And that, my little friends, is where groups come in. We're going to put all this into a group, and we're going to add different layers of animation to different groups to get the effect we want. So, in order to do this, um, let's open the outliner, window outliner for that. Okay, and at the moment, we can see... Um, the R and it, well, everything we've created are, can be found in here. So everything's linked to something. Yep. So that's fantastic. So let's just minimize all that. So basically, it's joint one and IK handle is our entire project. Okay. So I'm going to go to edit, select all to make sure that everything in my scene is selected. I'm going to put that into a group, which can do through either edit group or, as you can see there, control and G. I'm a fan of pressing control and G. Ta-da! Right, so then everything you want is put in group 1. But what's even better about this is if you look, there's no animation on this. There is on the IK effector. There you go, there's your four red ticks. Oh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five red ticks. Um, but if we click on group 1, no animation, which is brilliant. That's what we want. That means that now we can add extra animation to this shape. So I'm going to rename my group Height Animation. Fan fantastic right frame one then let's get animating frame one we want him to be on the floor obviously what's he going to jump off otherwise so frame one he stays as he is so making sure you've got height animation selected and you're on frame one press s next step is move on to frame six he's obviously got to move up in the air i'm just going to move him straight up um i'm probably going to go up by about um let's have a look so he starts kind of here so we'll move at one two three four let's go up by about four units three and a half okay so i'm going to press s on that now here's where um that bit about him sort of bending his knees into his chest makes sense i'm going to line up so his head stays sort of in line with um my, my view area so that i can use that in a minute so i'm going to set that keyframe on frame six first now i'm going to move to frame 11 you'll see that he's moved back down somehow so i'm going to keep moving it up until the head's nearly back up to at the same height. And that means that the feet will keep going up higher. Okay, so if we just play this through slowly, that should have the effect that as he goes up, there you go, you can see that his head, after a while, stays at the same height, but it lifts his legs up to get extra height, which is what we're going for. Okay, frame 16, he's on his way back down. Lovely, not too fast. Okay, so I'll set that keyframe. And then, as before, frame 1 and frame 21 need to be identical, so I'm going to copy and paste as I did before. And then if we preview that, oh, nice reminder to save my project, it's starting to look a lot more like that hop animation I showed you in the first video. Hooray! We're making progress! Okay, um, in the next video, I think we're going to sort that foot out, because it's doing my head in now. It doesn't look great, does it? Um, but we'll leave um, this video here. So I will see you in the next video to sort the crazy foot out.